Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Johnny B. Good here, located in Fort Wayne. We just got uh, started our day. We have, uh, I have no idea how many miles we got to do today. Let's see if we can't figure this out. Haha, uh -huh. I almost honked my horn for you guys. Luckily I didn't. There was a police sergeant right next to me. I did not see him. But since we are on the road now, so I guess here's to you. There. Hong Kong. Okay, I gotta figure out where to go and how to do it and how far we gotta go. So hold up for a second. Uh, Calculating. Originally, we had 718 miles of drive in the day. Proceed northwest on US 30 West. In 10 miles, continue straight on to East US 30. It turns out we got 502 miles to do today. I'm hoping to drive there as quickly as I can and uh, start my 34 hour reset. By the way, um, after Menominee, Wisconsin, they have given us a pre-plan of picking up in, boy, I can't remember. See, Wisconsin Rapids. Wisconsin Rapids picking up a load there going to somewhere in Mississippi. So that's it. It's going to be hot down there. It's going to be hot and humid. And I think my baby Ishii over here, baby AJ, is ready to go home for some reason. Yeah, I know why. She said I've been feeding her too many healthy foods. She wants junk foods. So I'm gonna start feeding her a little bit of meat. So she won't go home. Let's see if I can't swing you guys over there a little bit. Come on AJ, don't be mean, say hi. Say hi. Uh, anyway, folks, she's kind of shy. I don't know why. She's not never really shy, but she is today. So we'll catch you later, okay? Peace. Hey, everybody. Johnny B. Good here, located in Illinois. We had to stop at this Lincoln Oasis because the baby AJ is hungry and she said if I better keep her fed or she'll go home she's blackmailing me she said that uh, I'm feeding her two healthy foods she needs her junk food and meat so we're gonna stop at this oasis here and give her a little bit of a meat I guess she's hungry, so we won't be in here that long. We'll just uh, stop in and get out and go. So uh, right now we're at 358 miles to our destination in uh, Menominee, Wisconsin. Delivering at Walmart at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. So that's it for now. Peace. Hey everybody, Johnny B. Good here, located somewhere in Illinois. I am uh, 
we are 294 miles away to Menominee, Wisconsin. It's a beautiful day. It's 86 degrees out here today. Sun is bright and shiny. And just uh, doing 47 on a 45 on a construction zone. Yeah, I see Illinois has his state law that uh, they will park a van full of cameras. And uh, if you speed, you will activate that camera and they will take a picture of you with the speed uh, that you're driving on and they'll send you a really big hefty fine through the mail so yeah the, the big government they don't even have to chase after you out here anymore yeah, you'd be going through your business the whole day long and fine and dandy next thing you know when you go home the next week you got a really big award at home waiting for you and it's a minimum of $375 and second offense I think it goes up to like 600 third offense uh, you could lose your license so you know but if you really think about it, if you're driving 45 miles an hour and you want to drive 55 in one hour, you'll only get there, what, 10 miles earlier, right? So, and the, and, and the penalty, it's just not, just not worth it. The penalty and the consequences are not worth the, uh, the result of you know, trying to get there 10, 20 minutes earlier. So, uh, yeah, I do take my time in constructions. By the way, here on this construction is uh, 45 miles an hour. And trucks are required to drive on the left lane. A lot of four-wheelers are quite anxious and angry because why does a big truck run 45 miles an hour on a 45 in a construction? Little they know, they can't, I don't know, maybe they missed the sign that says trucks drive left lane, use left lane only. And believe it or not, some of the, a lot of truckers out here will also try to pass on the right. Well, they can pass me on the right all day long. Hey, don't bother me. You know, they they put, they put seem to put a little bit of a pressure on you to go faster, but uh, I tell you what, I can take the pressure all day long, but I can't take the pressure of having a ticket, a speeding ticket from the Smoky Bear because that hurts. Can you imagine driving all week long knowing that you're just going to pay $500 worth of ticket? So in turn, you're just, all you're doing is working all week long just to pay for the ticket. How does that make sense at all? Like that truck right there. Now he's got to be doing at least 55. I mean, yeah. So, yeah, I, I don't, I can't see myself doing that, just that. The way I look at it is, if they're willing to break the law by speeding, eh, if you're brave enough and rich enough to risk to, uh, getting a speeding ticket, you might as well drive on the right side of the road too, right? I mean, if you're brave enough to be a lawbreaker, go ahead. I ain't gonna stop you.